how do you go about turning that appointment from, you know, this may or may, this may or may not be good for my buyer to, hey, let me help you out and let me list your home. Okay, so here's the entire for sale by owner game, man. This this is it right here, okay? I am what I am today because I did it my way. Nothing y'all can say. Hello? James. Yes, sir. Ricky Carruth. What's up, man? Ricky, how are you? Good. How about you, buddy? You doing good? Doing great, man. Doing great. I'm out of Centerville, Ohio. Nice. Nice. What's your question? Hey, man. So uh, today I just got started on your Zero to Diamond. Uh, what was it? Two days ago? Yeah. Um, so I printed out some scripts, and uh, my team has been doing some Red X um, circle prospecting. Okay. And so my question to you was, man, it's real easy to book FISBO appointments as far as, hey, I may have a buyer. Let me get in there and let me uh, take a look first, you know? Yeah. But I want to know when you get in there, man, you can set up a bunch of those. But when you get in there, how do you go about turning that appointment from, you know, this may or, this may, or may not be good for my buyer to, hey, let me help you out and let me list your home? Okay, so here's the entire for sale by owner game, man. This this is it right here, okay? When you go to the home, the setting the appointment is easy, right? They want to show the property to anybody. So that's like the easy part is getting in the door. Okay, this is right. where you go wrong. You're trying to figure out how to get the listing. And all only thing that's on your mind is how do I get the listing? How do I turn this into a listing? How do I convert this person into a listing, right? Right. And so I think that your philosophy should change. And it should be not focus on how to convert, but more how to connect, right? Okay. And so what you have to do is, is let them show you the home. Let them tell you all about how incredible it is and how it's the best property in the neighborhood and all the upgrades they did and why they think it's so special. And you're going to agree with all of that. You're going to say, man, this is amazing, all this and all that. And when they get through showing you the house, you're going to say, let me ask you something. I don't even know if, if I lived here, I would never sell this place. Why are you selling this house? <laughs> right? Because okay. yeah. that's the question you want to ask is, is why? Okay. Because you got to figure out what their motive is behind why they're thinking about doing this. Okay. Okay. And so if you can, if you can really go deep with why and show them that you really care about why they're doing this and really focus on that, whatever that is, they got a new job. Their their daughter just graduated from college. They just had a baby. Um, you know, they're they're relocating. Um, whatever the case may be, you want to focus on that because that's really the goal now, not selling the house. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So if you can focus on now, here's the thing: they don't want to use an agent. They've already put it out there for sale by owner. They're not really interested in listing it. They want to try to sell it on their own first. But the statistics are that 87% of for sale by owners do list their property with an agent. And so right. what, what you got to do is you got you to focus on why they're selling. Okay. Get through that. Really connect with them somewhere in there. I don't know where because it's different every time, but you're going to really show them that you care about that. Okay. And then you're going right. to bust them with the question of, hey, look, you know, is there an, if you guys were to list this property with an agent, is there an agent that you would work with that you already have in mind for this? And this is after you've made the connection and after you have a little bit and you're really feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, so then it's like, is there an agent? Because their mom might be an agent. Their, their brother, their best friend from high school might be an agent. And if you don't ask that question, then here you are barking up a tree that you're never going to get to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so and so you make sure the doors open. No, we don't have an agent that we would work with. We're not planning on listing it anyway, but we don't have an agent. That's fine. I'm not trying to list. I'm just saying if you were to list it. Is there an agent that you, you know, that you have in mind? Do you have a relationship with an agent? Do you do you know an agent? You know what I'm saying? Right. No, man. And, I, and I agree so, completely. And, yeah. And so then you're going to continue down that path, continue connecting, continue going deep, find out more about their why, try to figure out how you can actually help them. Right? How you how you can actually help them may not have nothing to do with you selling their home or listing their home. 
right? You may be the guy that gives them the comps to tell them where they need to be priced and then they sell it on their own. And, and because you helped them do that and you didn't get paid, now they got to buy something. They're going to go through you to buy it. Right. And so like, it's about connecting with them to see how you can help them best. Helping them best might not be listing the home. It might be letting them sell it on their own, make more money. And then, and then you represent them buying something on the flip side. If you're that agent, they're having trouble selling their home. Now they've decided they're going to list it. Who are they going to list it with? See what I'm saying? Yeah. And so your job at that point is, is to call them every single week and say, Hey, what's going on? How's the showings? What's the feedback? You know, blah, blah, you know, right. and, and, you know, and then you call them every single week, check in with them, see how they're doing, see if they need anything, anything you can do for them until they either sell it on their own, list it with you or take it off the market. Right. There's going to be one of those three things happen. They're either going to just leave it on the market forever, sell it their self, take it off the market or list it with you or list it with another agent, right? They're going to list it with somebody, but not 87% of people list. So that's the entire for sale by owner game, bro. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I'm working on uh, switching my mindset from being more deal hungry to more relationship hungry. Yeah, because, you know, yeah, because think about it, dude, if you, if you connect with them, Think about like if if like you didn't go after the deal and sound like every other agent, if you actually show them that you care, didn't really care if you listed it or not, by not going after the listing gives you the best chance to actually get the listing.